for another check on our weather today, Steve. And it was a beautiful day at the beach. It looks like it's been a perfect beach day with the sunshine out there, but with the wind and the cooler temperatures, not so much. It was a great day to get things done around the house or even better inside the house, putting up your Christmas tree if you haven't done it yet, and a beautiful sunset happened just about an hour ago. Current temperatures in the drier air behind that front. It's 49 at Pensacola, 51 at Tampa. Several degrees cooler in many areas now than it was this time last night, which makes me think that our forecast temperatures may be a little optimistic. It could get warmer than we've been predicting or colder tonight than we've been predicting. Across our viewing area, look already 50 in Sarasota. That's several degrees uh, cooler than we were this time last night. 56 at Longboat Key and 52 at Arcadia. And our current conditions at the airport, 50 degrees, dew point 39, and it's going to go lower into the 30s, setting the stage for our temperatures to drop like a stone once the sun goes down. Our last night's low was 42. We could drop two, three, maybe four degrees from that tonight. A high today, 59. You can see how that rate says average for this time of year. Now with the dry air, as you would expect, no rain anywhere within radar range. And by satellite, while it's clear over the uh, land, that cold dry air blowing over the water of the Atlantic and Gulf kind of condenses the moisture above the water into these stratus clouds. And if you were right along the beach looking out over the Gulf tonight, you saw those clouds out there offshore, but it was sunny right on top of you. Now it's going to be cold tonight. Frost warning, a frost advisory as far south as Glades and Hendry County. A lot agriculture goes on down here, but look at this, a hard freeze warning right up to the Georgia border and a freeze warning almost to Tampa Bay. So it is going to be cold tonight, making me think we're going to be maybe two, three, four degrees colder here in our area. It could be snowing. It could be worse as it's snowing across the snow belts in upstate New York. And our future cast shows not only will have that, but a storm, another one blowing out of Canada will bring more snow Monday into Tuesday through the Great Lakes and into the Northeast, but New York City and the highly populated I-95 corridor should escape it. Now let's take a look at the nation's weather, and it's being controlled by a buckle in the jet stream. That polar vortex, that swirling low, has buckled the jet, bringing that cold air down the Atlantic coast and warm air all the way up the Pacific. That's why it's warm and dry with a high fire danger in California. We'll have high pressure over us for the next couple of days, keeping us dry, and some of that cool air will keep filtering in over us with but two more waves of cooler air this week. Temperatures across the nation right now, 51 at Kansas City, but it's 36 at Raleigh, 37 in New York City. It is warmer at L.A., though, 83 than it is at Phoenix, with 76 because of the Santa Ana dry winds and the high fire danger. Here's our weather headlines. A few degrees cooler tonight. That means we'll be pretty close to 40 or even a little cooler than that. But fear not, it will be a little warmer briefly by Tuesday. And here's the briefly part. Uh, the future cast showing high pressure building over us. And once it gets a little to the east of us, a little south wind early on Tuesday. Then Tuesday afternoon, a cold front comes through, dries us out, cools us off 10 degrees for Wednesday. So we just can't catch a break here. Here's my forecast for tonight. Clear and cool with our low optimistically 41. We should be 56. And for tomorrow, a mostly sunny and a little bit warmer day, 64 for the high temperature. And here's your seven day outlook showing that that breezy conditions with the front coming through on Tuesday with a high of 72. Then the front comes through. It drops off over 10 degrees, tries to warm up again. Another front Friday night to Saturday morning brings a slight chance of rain overnight. Then I think by next Sunday when it warms up to 77, that sets the stage for warmer weather as we move toward Christmas. And that's your weather story. Adam.